Did someone call for help? Don't worry, I'm a doctor. But probably not the one you're expecting. Virus, 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 virus. Well, isn't this a this isn't a parody blog? I must have overshot. Hacking into the TARDIS, I don't think that was possible. Hacking a TARDIS? No, I hacked a Tumblr blog. What are you on about? Oh god, I landed in a serious story blog. No fourth world, no fun, only angst and cheap feels. Hmm, the voice is working out. It is. <laughs> Wait a second. Empty backgrounds, red TARDIS console, generic evil look. That must mean... I want to ask Discord at Who's, the most popular Doctor Who's blog called Tumblr. That means I am at the source of the Who's blog overload. I can fix this disease once and for all. <laughs> Let's answer some more questions. This is a good ask blog, so it must get good questions. Friend or foe? Not part of the story? Hey, Doctor, do you have any plans? So, Doctor, now that Jack's gone, what will you do? Check on Twilight? Sit in, sit in alone again? Or something else entirely? Congratulations, you found a fancier way of asking, what now? You are clearly an intelligent specimen, and have made a great contribution to this blog. That's it. You finally killed someone. You have finally let that insanity consume your mind and fully corrupt your body. You are not the Doctor. You don't even deserve to be called a Time Lord. You are a monster. I'm sorry. What? Have you ever watched Doctor Who? The Doctor kills someone every five freaking episodes. Don't really ask anything if you don't know jack about the source material. Basic Who knowledge is needed to fully understand blogs like these. Why are all these character questions meant for another character, when I'm obviously the main focus point of this story arc? Doc, not to worry, everything will be fine. Doctor, what the fuck is wrong with you now? Look at your behavior, stop running and try to think. You feeling alright, Doc? I'm gonna skip those because I can't read them. <laughs> nope, no, I'm not dealing with you guys. You clearly do not understand the story or anything going on. I'll go see what else I can find lying around this blog. <gasps> <laughs> Too <laughs> stupid, five me. I can't wait to see what I can mess around with. There are over 600 posts to play with. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm going to have so much fun. Why am I so slow? Oh dear God, it's the story. It moves at a snail's pace. It took its toll on my movement. So, are you some kind of blog traveling doctor or what? Oh great, just what I needed. Why the hell would you sit and ask through the fan mail feature? This is not what it's meant for. Gotta get away from the bad fan mail question. Come on, go fast. I'm not even a doctor. The only speed is Sonic Labyrinth, isn't it? Well, it's not all that bad. I'm sure I will reach fun by the time this blog tells two minutes of the story. <clears throat> Jack, there's a big difference between you and me that you don't know. You should know. What? I, I know how to shoot with hooves. Uh, okay. Well, this is better than walking. At least there's an archive to go through. <clears throat> What's with all these plot twists? Why are there so goddamn many? What is this? One of the Saw sequels? 
Well, no, it is not as bad. At least it doesn't jump through the timeline every scene. Or heavily rely on flashback sequences to explain what the heck is going on. Wait a second. <laughs> and originally, the doctor was going to avoid shagging ponies because he found them disgusting. That sure would have helped him in the long run. <laughs> well, this one dude sent me two long paragraphs about how offended he was that I made fun of his blogs. <laughs> These Tumblr bronies are the worst! Sick, easily offended, and closed-minded. Why do we even bother? Only we can tell more funny stories, but we both have blogs to run. See you later! <laughs> Be around. Maybe we can go out for some chocolate beer someday. No. How the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> and I can stop doing that voice. <laughs> it was it was so perfect though. It it did work. <laughs> uh, yes, I can still I can still voice him because he's back. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> It's morning sunshine. I imagine you'll need answers. The doctor shot me too, though he did one hell of a number on you. I had to pick you up with a mop and some tweezers when I found you. Also, yes, I tied you up. What I want is for you to hear me out. The doctor has never been this bad in all the time I've known him. And I've known him for lifetimes longer than anyone else. He's going through a strange phase of something I can't identify. I cannot figure out how to trigger his recovery, nor can I cause him to regenerate, because there is no guarantee that he will not outright die, or if the effect will dissipate if I do. I'm at my wit's end, and if I keep, if things keep progressing as they are, I'll have to kill him just to prevent some horrible from happening to this universe I have come to care for. I've lost my patience and do not want to work on this alone anymore. Jack? I need your help. Now then, I'm going to remove your gag and let you speak. Try to keep it on topic, will you? <coughs> Dinner and bondage, Master? It's only our first date. I'm in place, Jack. Forgive me, but I'm not too keen on trusting someone who tortured me for a year and killed everyone dear to me. Yeah, something's wrong with the doctor, that's obvious. But for all I know, you could be the cause and you're just trying to use me as a pawn. So, if you don't convince me in the next five minutes, I'd rather just repeatedly kill myself for eternity. If you honestly think for one second that you, with no friends, no tools, and no idea how this universe works, there's a single chance in hell on doing this on your own, then <laughs> just shoot me and be done with it. What do you need me to do? I need your expertise. You are good with information. I need as much information as you can gather on the doctor's activities for a span of four years, bringing you back long before Twilight Sparkle settled in Ponyville. Something happened. Time is being altered. The walls of the universe are cracking. I am asking you to form Torchwood under my watchful eye, supported by my deep. I gave up on Torchwood, disbanded them. If I do this, I'm going to need a lot of compensation, a lot of tools, and a lot of free range. You'll provide this? 
name your terms, give me exact details, and we'll just. Aid and location, the doctor can't find it easily. A way to move around on the scene, a new identity, and obviously the proper technology. And if I have no other option, you'll let me kill him. Establish a hub in the Everfree Forest. It's just dangerous enough that he'd avoid it. I will fix your vortex manipulator to allow for teleportation. And you're on a Type 91 Mark IV war TARDIS. I'm not lacking technology. As for killing the doctor, no. He was my, once my friend. Not something you could put down like a sick dog anything any time you please. If anyone will take that shot, it's me. Fine, but I can't make promises on the last one since I hardly think you're a friend to him. That's the best you'll get out of me. Indeed. Wake up, doctor, please wake up. Doctor, please wake up, Anita is worried about you. Doctor, wake up, come on, you need to clean yourself up. Anita's worried about you, and so are a lot of us. <sighs> doctor, time to wake up, I know you're drinking, I think it's supposed to be thinking or whatever, about Jack double-crossing you, but it, Anita is crying right now. She's worried about you. Doctor, wake up. You can't drink away your sorrows. You die be before then. You look terrible. Wake up, clean yourself up, and get bloody all of yourself. Eat up. Time to get up. Mm. Put on that makeup. Mm. Hey, rise and shine, doctor. Time to observe the damage. Hey, hey, wake up. You got a friendship to save. <laughs> Yeah, it's too much. Mm -hmm. Gonna be drunk for crying out loud, doctor. <laughs> Welcome back to reality, doc. Messy hair, doc is cute. I'll let doc read these questions. <laughs> what happened to you? Look at yourself. What happened? I got drunk. That's what happened. Are you okay? What happened? Oh, God. Don't shout in catalogs. I have a hangover and it bloody hurts. Uh, you're okay. <clears throat> Doctor, are you okay? You don't look so well. Jack fell down and broke his crown stuff. Jack got home that something something very paper. Doctor, are you okay? Wake up. What happened? Why is the TARDIS moving? I'm going to ask this as respectfully as possible, but what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I think you might have an alcohol problem. <clears throat> you know that drinking and sex didn't help you last time, so maybe you aren't looking for help anymore? Are you done trying to be happy or content? I never asked for help, and I never said I was trying to be happy. Do you need a glass of water? Anada, he's still going to need her to rest most of it off. Give him some water. Should reduce his ego a bit, uh, of a brain a bit. Oh. Oh. Fine. Doc, where the hell have you been? Playing drunk Street Fighter? No. Doc, check out Anita. Last time you used your gun on another person, she was real scared. Lily, she's just been fussing over things. How about a pair? I'm always up for a pair. 
oh my god, doctor, why are you drinking like this? You just killed Jack. What if the master found him? Oh god, there's nothing I can do. Why am just what? Oh, now I remember why I was drinking. Thank you. That's it. You finally killed someone. You have finally let that insanity consume your mind and fully corrupt your body. You are another doctor. You don't even deserve to be called a time lord. You are a monster. No, I didn't kill anyone. He can't die, remember. I'm sure he's woken up by now and doesn't even have a scratch. So get over it. Hey, doctor. Do you have any plans? As a matter of fact, I do. See this? This is a 50-year royal salute scotch whiskey. For you uncultured swine out there, this is worth $30,000. Only 255 were ever made. The bottle is porcelain with handcrafted silver and 24 karat gold. $30,000 must And his thirty thousand dollars Dutch. Uh. <laughs> Savor it, you don't get to hear one of those every 